Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I've done a tutorial, I guess. So that's because I had to do a DIY fix on my Z3. The volume buttons and power button were really hard to press because one thing, like the rail that held it together, uh, slipped off. So I fixed that and now I can make more videos. Hooray! So this is to install a recovery, a TWRP to be more specific, on the latest Lollipop uh, firmware, you could say. So you can see I'm on Lollipop here, right? self-explanatory I'm not gonna fool you guys anyway so this for this to work you'll need to have to download a couple of things and also have um, an unlocked bootloader on your Z3 otherwise you will not be able to change the boot or the kernel so make sure you have an unlocked bootloader and this is uh, I'll show you how to install it right now and also you wanna download these files now so you will wanna download the kernel here that includes TWRP so I'll put that as the first link and then the second link will be our Android Tools folder, which includes these four things. Uh, all we need is Fastboot, really. And we also need uh, the Xperia drivers, which will be the third link, uh, which is enables, you know, so your phone can connect to your computer while in Fastboot mode, which is definitely what we need. So once you have those installed, I do have a tutorial installing them. Um, I'll have a, upload a specific one, or you can just follow the beginning of one of my other Xperia Z3 videos, I'll link that down below as well, to install drivers because you can't install it normally because Windows 8 and 8.1 don't allow the installation of unsigned drivers so there's a way to get around that. So now moving on, we just need to download this so it's in the attachments over there and this should take no time at all. So I'll be back when the download finishes. Alright, so our advanced.kernel has finished downloading all you want to do is move it into our Android folder, just like that. Uh, so everything's really all in one place. Uh, next, what you want to do is now open up the zip file and see where it has boot image. You just want to extract that to your folder right there. And we can close that. And now this is where we want to open up our command prompt window. So I'll zoom in as well. You want to hold shift and right click on the empty space of the folder and then select open command window here. Now this is when we'll use this. Let's put it down here. And then you need to type in fast boot, flash, boot, boot, dot img. So according to whatever name that is, so that could be any image, I could rename it. All you need to do is type in the right name. So this will flash that image, the boot image, to our boot partition on our phone. So we'll just leave that for there. And we're gonna restart our phone into fast boot mode, which can be done by first off turning the phone off, like so, and then you wanna open up the um, USB flap and hold volume up while you put the USB in. So I know this could be a little bit tricky at first, but just hold volume up now, and then put in the USB, the USB cable. And it should turn into a blue dot up here as the LED. Now you can set your phone aside, and mine needs to install drivers at the moment. So hopefully that you know works in a sec. But if you're unsure, oh, well, it's installing now. So this only takes a couple of seconds, and when it does finish, we can then press enter on our command prompt window here, and this will write boot to our bootloader. Sorry, to our boot partition. And once that is done, you can unplug your phone from the cord and then restart your phone. Now this is where you need to watch out. When the LED changes up in the top corner to a color, you want to hold volume down or up. It doesn't really matter. In this case, it's purple. So I think you can hold either one. And once it turns orange, you can let go. And now we're in recovery. So that is how we can install TWRP recovery. And it should work fine if I... No, it should work really. I was gonna wipe. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you install a custom recovery for the Lollipop on your Z3. Uh, thanks to that guy on XDA. And hopefully this works for you guys. If it did, feel free to leave a like down below. And subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials like this. And hopefully soon tutorials on the LG G3. So thanks for watching guys. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.